just got back from work it's thursday um also welcome back to another vlog i'm back in new york after the thanksgiving holiday i didn't vlog the trip obviously because i wanted to just have quality time with avery and his family but i did post some little snippets of our trip on instagram so if you haven't seen that you should go and check it out most of the trip we just stayed in and around the seattle area we did a really nice hike um which i can probably link for you guys i just have to ask avery where it is it was it was really nice once we got to the top the hike itself was hard for me i mean it was a lot easier on the way down but it was a very steep hike and we were kind of expecting there to be snow so avery had snowshoes and we rented some for me but luckily the weather had been so good there there wasn't actually any snow and after hiking to the top i was just thinking in my head like i don't think i could have done this with snowshoes it was so steep it was like a serious hike um probably the hardest hike i've ever done i think but um the cool thing about this hike is that there's actually private hot springs up top uh, a natural hot spring and so we spent a couple hours up there and then hiked our way back down and then drove back um to where we were staying so that was really cool he also surprised me with an overnight trip down to vancouver which is only about two like two and a half hours from where we were staying and the reason he did that is because one of my brothers actually goes to ubc he's been going there well he missed the first year because of covid but this is his last year there so i got to see him which was so nice and we got dinner and i even got to see his apartment and his campus so that was really special too because i honestly don't know if i would have been able to go and, and see all of that and see his life out there if it wasn't for um that little surprise trip so it was really cool and then honestly the rest of the trip we just spent with his family which is amazing i i love them and now i'm back i'm actually about to get ready to go to an event tonight i feel like i don't really have that much to do just because i work today i just will need to figure out what i'm going to do with my hair because it's been on a bun all day <laughs> it doesn't look very cute down but um Part of the reason why I wanted to start off this vlog is because I'm going to an event with Cezanne tonight and I've spoken about them on my channel before. I've worked with them in the past. I've been working with them for a little over a year now um, and I'm going to show you some pieces that they've sent me over the last few months that I haven't been able to share with you on here at least uh, just because I haven't been posting but they invited me to come to their holiday apartment in the city i guess they've rented out this apartment in soho decorated it for the holidays made it really cozy um and it's supposed to be sort of a showroom slash event so i'm very excited i'm also going to be meeting my contact person in person for the first time so i'm really looking forward to that i feel like it always just helps deepen the relationship and um yeah it just like helps you get to know them better as well it's like that time of year where your hair just sticks to everything. <laughs> I didn't really buy any clothes during um, Black Friday or Cyber Monday just because I honestly didn't need anything. And I feel like this time of year is just so expensive to begin with that I was like, I'm not gonna buy anything that I don't need. So I didn't buy anything. <laughs> But I did buy myself, I shouldn't say I didn't buy anything, because I bought two things. I bought myself a new brush, um, mainly for just ponytails and buns and stuff like that. I had a boar bristle brush that I ordered from Amazon, but it was not good. It could have also been the fact that I was like using it with hairspray and stuff, but... It just wasn't a good brush. So I bought this one. This is also from Amazon. It's supposed to be kind of a dupe for the Mason Pearson brush, which is like $250. And this girl is not going to spend that kind of money on a brush. Um, but I got this one. The brand is called Shosh. It's going to be backwards probably in the vlog, but I'll link it. And I really like it so far. The thing that I like the most about it is how it kind of just smooths the hair on its own and it actually touches your scalp when you brush it the other brush that i had would just brush the hair it wouldn't even make it to your scalp if that makes sense and i feel like that was the whole purpose of making the hair look slicked when you're doing a ponytail so anyway i feel like this one is doing 
a lot, a lot better of a job. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now because I don't wanna get a headache. Ponytails don't give me a headache, but sometimes the tight bun does. So I'm gonna do that right before I leave. And um, yeah, I'm gonna still eat something and get dressed and all that. So I'll show you guys how I do that after. Just put on a little bit of powder and some jewelry. I'm wearing these earrings from Monica Vinader. And I love these. I think they're so chic and so fun for the holidays. And they're actually brown which is perfect because I think the top that I'm gonna wear tonight is also brown. So I figured it would be a good combo. But um, they actually recently sent me these other earrings, which I also really love, and I haven't tried them on yet, so I might see which ones I like better. Um, they've always come in these cute pouches. Their signature jewelry boxes. I love their jewelry. These are the other ones. They're a little bit bigger and definitely more of a statement. You probably can't even see when I'm doing this. Maybe I should take one out and try. I feel bad about this, but I actually meant to share these with you guys in my last vlog, but they didn't arrive in time before the Thanksgiving holiday and all of the online sales, so I couldn't share them with you. But I have a feeling they're gonna be doing something for the holidays, um, and so I can message my contact and maybe find out if they're doing something for the holidays too and then you guys can get their holiday discount, but... Hmm. Let me just do a quick pretend bun. I don't know, I think I'm still gonna go with these just because of the top that I'm wearing, but these are really fun. And I love them for the holidays and I really love them when my hair is slicked back. I feel like every time I put my hair back I need some sort of statement earring just to balance out how, sorry, I'm like getting this out, how um, how slick my hair is and how much forehead exposure there is. I will link both of these down below if you're interested. I don't have a code right now, unfortunately, but if you are interested in these earrings, I would just keep an eye on them over the holidays. Maybe they'll do like a Boxing Day discount or something like that I don't know okay it's obviously very dark in here but I'm gonna try my best to show you guys what I'm wearing I'm just wearing some black a goldie jeans um, I think I've shown you guys these before I can link them they're the Cherie high-rise straight style and my slippers from Amazon <laughs> but um, this is the cardigan that I'm wearing it's this beautiful chocolate color it has these really nice big chunky buttons and it's just like the perfect cable knit cardigan slash sweater. You can wear it closed or open. And then I just have a brown bodysuit underneath. And I feel like this is very chic, very appropriate for the time of year. And it obviously goes with the earrings that I showed you guys earlier. I do have another option, um, which is a wool blazer. I have pretty much decided that I'm gonna wear this, but I'll show you guys the blazer just so you can see what it looks like. This is the blazer. It's super nice wool fabric. It is like slightly itchy, but because it's lined on the inside and I usually wear a sweater or like a long sleeve underneath, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, I actually brought this to Seattle because we had one night where we were going for a nice dinner and the rest of the time I was just wearing like a massive puffer jacket. And because we were driving most of the time, I figured I could get away with this. And it was surprisingly warm, so I'll link this for you guys too. I just think that because I'm gonna be taking the subway tonight, I'm gonna go with the sweater and then wear like my big black wool coat over it. But this is also a really cute option for the fall winter season. Okay, and now for my bun. I always just like pull up the ponytail a little bit on the top just so it sits higher and it doesn't just like kind of fall down, if you know what I mean. And then, hopefully I can do this in one try and hopefully it doesn't go blurry on me, but I start by splitting my ponytail in half and I twist both sides and then I turn them around the like top of my ponytail. So it kind of looks like this. And then I just take another hair tie and I tie it around the bottom. And then usually there will be these little pieces that just kind of stick out on their own. I don't know if you can really tell. 
but you can always just like pull out little pieces on your own too just to make it look a little more lived in and not as like <laughs> slick but yeah i think i think i like this okay let's go something to put you guys on grab this glass today's friday and it's the next day i'm just gonna set you guys up here um it's friday and i forgot to show you guys some of the goodies that they sent me or they gave me um to take home from the event last night so i thought i would show you guys them really quick i also ordered a couple of things online but they obviously haven't arrived yet. So I will probably share those with you in the next vlog, but I got this cute little hat. I love this color. I feel like it's really nice and soft with my skin tone. And then to go with the hat, they were doing these like matching sets so you could mix and match. So I went with this beautiful plaid pastel scarf, which is so cozy. And I think it's just a really cute little winter combo not with the sweater obviously but yeah i'm kind of uh starting to get to that point where i kind of want to add more color into my wardrobe so i feel like this is a perfect way to kind of ease into it is with a nice pastel scarf just because there's still color but it's not not anything too crazy and then they also gave us this little toiletry bag which is really cute and Honestly, really perfect for Christmas travel for just little makeup or skincare things. So yeah, really cute stuff as always. The event was also super beautiful. Um, it wasn't an apartment. I don't know why I thought it was an apartment, but it was just um, in a little storefront that they rented and they had a cheese board. They had like, it was more of a, it wasn't even a cheese board. It was just like a charcuterie table. It was insane. And then they had all of these little desserts. They had champagne. They gave you these little vouchers. So you could go throughout the store and like pick your scarf and pick your hat and pick your toiletry bag. So it was really fun and just like a kind of an experience while you're in the event. I really liked the way they did that. I feel like it was set up really well for people to just go on their own. I think most of the time events aren't really set up for that. So that's why you try and get a plus one or try and go with a friend or try and meet up with someone just so you like have someone that you know there but the way they kind of planned things was really cute and um yeah just made it fun to go by yourself um yeah now i'm kind of just waiting for my next call to start i just finished a call with someone in my program and her and i've been working together for a few months and it's another way that you can kind of get your hours in the beginning so you can get certified is to coach each other and coach other people in your program so I always really love those sessions because they're more relaxed and you're kind of just like learning from each other and working together. But yeah, the one that I have at 1230 is a little bit more nerve wracking just because this one is the one where I'm being observed by one of the master coaches in my program. And so um, this is also a partner session. So you're also working with someone who's in that part of your program but instead of just doing it together you're having someone who's watching you and giving you feedback and all that so they're a little bit more intense but they're also great because you're learning as you're coaching um and i think that these sessions in particular have been the ones that have really like made me aware of uh, my coaching style and just yeah just given me like the greatest lessons so far so it's kind of bittersweet but um yeah that's what i have next and then later today i have two more calls and those are with like actual people that i am personally working with so yeah this is going to be more of a work from home type of day for me but i figured it would be kind of cool to show you guys that too and i'm really hoping that after this call i can take some time and answer some of the questions that you guys had about my program and the type of coaching that i'm doing and um, the kind of people that I'm working with and just give you guys a better idea of like what it is that I'm actually doing um, I did I did do a video where I explained the program that I'm in but I guess um, There's just more info that you guys want to know so I will I will try and do that after this and then 
tonight I actually want to try baking some cookies um, they're not healthy cookies unfortunately but they are really good I baked them for Avery a couple times but I'm gonna do them a little bit different I'm gonna do them with Oreos in them um, and so hopefully we can do that together later today too Got off my last call for the day and I'm starting to make dinner um, this was my other Black Friday purchase that I don't think I told you guys about but I ended up getting a mini rice cooker for our kitchen and I love it so much I'll link it down below so I'm gonna have some rice and then I have these mini zucchinis that I'm gonna fry up and then I'm probably also gonna do some tomatoes while my food is cooking I'm gonna tell you guys about an idea that I had for this coming year in terms of my food this is something that I've been thinking about for a while. Sorry, I had to open my window because it gets kind of hot in here. Um, in New York, you can't really control your heat. <laughs> and now my zucchini is acting up. This is going really well. Um, yeah, in New York, you can't really control your heat. And so we end up opening the window a lot just because it gets hot when you're cooking. But... Um, I have been kind of in a meal rut lately and part of this I think is because I don't make the time to plan out what I'm gonna eat and it sounds kind of like controlled and restrictive but to be honest with you like when you are just busy and you're thinking about other things I personally lose all of my creativity and so I end up just eating the same things or I end up making like a snack plate for dinner which is fine every once in a while but it's not fine when it's happening every three days and so what I've been thinking of doing um, starting this weekend actually is I'm gonna start making myself a little weekly menu and I feel like this is really gonna help me not only try making new things which is something that I really want to do in the new year so just like get creative with cooking again and, and actually like make time for it um, but it's also gonna help me be more prepared in terms of like what to eat <laughs> um, and one of my biggest downfalls is that at the end of the day I don't always feel like cooking a lot of people can relate to that probably and so again like I said I end up eating snacks or I just order something and it doesn't mean that it's unhealthy but it's like I feel as though if I plan this out better, I'm not gonna have to order out food or I'm not gonna have to have snacks for dinner. I just am like not making the time to do that right now, you know? So something that I'm gonna do tomorrow is I'm gonna sit down and make a menu and then I'm gonna make a grocery list and then Sunday I'm gonna go get groceries, I'm gonna cook some stuff and then I'm gonna figure out another day during the week when I can cook the other meals because I'm not gonna be able to cook for five days. It's gonna go bad. but. I can at least see with my schedule like if I cook on Sunday I'll probably cook again on Wednesday or something you know so yeah I'm gonna try that out and see how it goes because I feel like I used to be super good at this and I think it's also just it happens when you're trying to budget and you're trying to like cut down on costs and when I first moved to New York that was something that was really important when it came to food and even now, like you guys know that I'm still very much aware of those things. It's just when it comes to food now, I have a little bit more flexibility and I'm so grateful for that. But um, it's also made me a little bit lazy and it's like, it doesn't matter if I order out a meal here and there, you know, but it's like, it kind of takes away a little bit of the, the discipline and the healthiness of it all. Um, and it's just something that I kind of want to prioritize in the new year. So if this works out, I will, let you guys know how it goes and maybe even share um, some of these weekly menu ideas with you um, but yeah I thought I would I thought I would share that because I can imagine that I'm not the only one who kind of like wants to experiment but then if I don't set aside time to do it then it's not gonna happen you know I just get lazy so 
anyway my battery's gonna die but i'll show you my um i'll show you my dinner when it's done okay i'm gonna eat this while i edit for a little bit and just decompress but yeah the rice turned out really well i think i'm finally nailing how to make the perfect white rice and then i just did a little bit of salt and a squeeze of lemon on top of the veggies so because i forgot to take out the butter it has to be at room temperature i ended up putting most of the ingredients in their separate bowls so it'll actually be easier for me to just mix everything together um but i will link the recipe of these cookies down below it's not going to have the oreo pieces in it because i'm just adding those in um as an addition to the cookies and yeah i'll film a little bit show you guys what they look like at the end and hopefully they turn out good <laughs> Sorry in advance for the dishwasher. I had to turn it on because we had so many dishes, but these are the cookies. The recipe makes a good amount of them. And so if you're just making them for yourself or for two people, I would consider cutting the recipe in half unless you can just give them away to friends or you want to eat them all, it's totally fine. Um, but yeah, Avery's probably going to end up taking these to watch football on Sunday. So that will get rid of some of them. But I am excited about how they turned out. I think they're gonna be really good. I couldn't end the vlog without showing you guys our little Christmas tree this year. We weren't quite sure if we were gonna get one just because we're kind of late into the season, I guess, already being like well into December. Um, but then we figured because we're spending New Year's in New York that it would be fine if we just leave it up until like the first few days of January. So this is our tree. She obviously needs some ornaments, which we ended up ordering today so she'll probably look a little bit more dressed up in my next vlog but i think she's so cute and it's definitely nice having a tree even if it's just a baby christmas tree that's gonna be it for this vlog you guys i'm gonna upload it and have it ready to go up tomorrow for you guys so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one Bye.